Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be answering the frequently asked questions about vaccines. This is the part third and if you haven't watched part first and part second, I'll post the link in the description box below so you can check. Okay, so let's get started. But before that, please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get into it. First question I'll be answering is, do COVID-19 vaccines causes infertility? No, there is currently no evidence that can prove COVID-19 vaccines will lead to infertility. These are just uh, claims and these are not new. And we all know that. It's a pretty common tactic already used by people who want to scare people away from getting vaccinated against other diseases. There is also no evidence suggesting that fertility problems are a side effect of any FDA authorized vaccine. Part of why uh, people believe this misinformation has to do with the similarities between the spike proteins, the red spikes around the coronavirus and the proteins needed to form the placenta. COVID-19 vaccines using mRNA technology like uh, Pfizer and Moderna and viral vector technology like Johnson & Johnson teach your body to make a harmless piece of the spike proteins like what we see on the surface of the coronavirus. Your immune system sees that the spike protein does not belong there and this causes your body to start building an immune response and making antibody against it. So this is how your body responds when you naturally get a COVID-19 infection. This means that the next time you come in contact with the virus that causes COVID-19, your body knows how to fight it off. Some people have falsely claimed that those uh, same antibodies that teach your body to fight against COVID will attack the proteins on the placenta leading to infertility. But while those placental proteins are similar to the coronavirus spike proteins, they are not the same. And our bodies know that. So do not believe on any misinformation. Okay, so the second question is, do COVID-19 vaccines contain microchips that can track people? No, again, this is a false claim. COVID-19 vaccine does not contain any microchips that can, that can track people. It's a false claim. Next question is, are the variant strains like Delta more contagious or more dangerous? So, it is like first I'll explain what is a variant. Variant uh, viruses, as we all know, constantly changes through mutation and new variants of a virus expected to occur over time. Sometimes new variants emerge and disappear. Other times new variants remain with us. So there are currently six variants of concern of coronavirus. B.1.1.7. This variant was first identified in the United Kingdom. Second is B.1.351. This variant was initially detected in South Africa. P.1. This variant was initially identified in travelers from Brazil. B.1.427 and B.1.429. These two variants were first identified in California. And now B.1.617.2, Delta variant. This variant was first detected in the United States. And this variant was classified by the CDC as a variant of concern because it spreads from person to person more easily than other variants and may cause more severe COVID disease. So to answer your question, yes, Delta, um, Delta variant is more contagious or dangerous. So the next question is how long will protection from the COVID-19 vaccines last? Uh, see, this question is yet not answered clearly or correctly. So I cannot uh, comment on that but experts are still learning on how long those who get vaccinated against covid will be protected however they do know that immunity begins to lessen after 90 days after having a natural covid-19 vaccine and the protection from the covid-19 vaccines lasts longer okay so the next question is how do mrna vaccines work mRNA vaccines carry the information that allows our own cells 
to make the pathogens proteins or protein fragments themselves mrna vaccines only carry the information to make a small part of the pathogen from this information it is not possible for our cells to make the whole pathogen okay so an mrna vaccines delivers the instruction for making a bacterial or viral protein to our cells our immune system then responds to these proteins and develops the tools to react to future infections with the pathogen okay so that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you